12 films in 12 months, a year in search of Shred. Different spots, different crews, different styles. We don't know exactly what's going to happen or where we'll go, but if it sounds fun and it feels good, we're in. In 2001, uh, we started Rome here in Waterbury, Vermont. It's a half hour from a chairlift that opens at 8 o'clock in the morning and that lets people that work here snowboard every day. Welcome to the Rome office. There's a lot of excitement around here. We've been getting everything ready. We got board shipping out. We're prepping the catalog. We have new product coming out, and winter's right around the corner. We think about snowboarding all summer, and that first cold morning when you can see your breath, it's like the flick of a switch. You just know that you're going to be riding soon. When you're dead, you Right now in Vermont, it's fall, and that really signifies that it's preparation for winter. And like a lot of our in-house crew will head up to our favorite stashes, our little zones, and they do something that we like to call community service. Maintaining and clearing your favorite power lines is an East Coast tradition. It's super important that, that the people here, you know, are passionate about snowboarding, care about snowboarding enough to make it a, a big, big part of their lives. You know, one of those people is Justin Cafiero, who runs our social media stuff uh, in marketing here. And when we kicked off our project to do 12 months, he kicked off his own personal project to do 12 months and ride every month of the year. My personal goal this year was to try to ride at least one day every month um, for 12 consecutive months. Welcome to Portland. So we made it to Mount Hood. Uh, the weather's a little less than ideal, but uh, we're still going to go for it. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> September 23rd, we are snowboarding here on Mount Hood, Oregon. We were soaked, but it was an awesome time. There's an awesome crew out here that, that really supports Rome a lot, and the weather was not good by any means, but um, they still were stoked to come out and take some turns and just have a, have a good time. It's, it's palpable that people are excited to get back on snow. We really focus on getting people who are passionate about snowboarding involved. Mike Paddock, who does our board graphics, and his passion for snowboarding is, it drives everything he does. This is definitely one of my favorite favorite graphics that I've I've personally done. The, uh, the live nude girls base graphic. And they definitely got some attention, positive and negative. A few angry emails from mom, you know, but that happens every year. I made about a hundred for shop kids that year. That got us a little bit more negative attention. <laughs> they were pretty dope. When I see someone on the hill that like spent their hard-earned money on a board that I designed, that is the absolute best feeling. Being in September and spent, spending the last six months working on these board graphics, and now that they're finally done, I really just can't wait for the season to get started. In 
September over here in the States, you know, fall is just beginning. And so the wait for snow is in full effect for our crew here. But the crew over in Europe, they get to snowboard already because the glaciers are opening in October and September. And so in some ways, winter has already begun. Hello, I'm der Philipp. And I'm the marketing and team manager of Rome Europe. Right now, it's just a super exciting time. I think everyone is just waiting to get the season started. It's finally getting cold outside. It's raining here in the city all the time. And that means snow in the mountains. Oh. Hey Andy, what's the progress on these TPS reports? Did you know I'm almost done? I found a new one from Thomas Delfino. Got that Versace binding. It's like whatever. Gucci binding over here, no problem. Fresh to death. High end Dolce Gabbana and shit. Is it the office? Shotgun Friday? Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.